course, we're going to get yeast mixture in with the flour and the shortening mix, and now I'm going to whisk it all together, and I'm going to use nothing but a fork. Fork works really great for mixing all these ingredients together. And then I'll have to add a little bit of warm water um, just to get the right amount of moisture into the dough before I work the dough, before it sets and rises the second time, and that'll be the second rise before the dough actually is um, rolled out into pizza dough. Ready for the next step. The next step is what I call the second rise. Really important to keep the dough moist during that part so no part of the dough actually um, dries out. So I'll be putting a towel over top of the bowl and then sitting in a warm place. Usually I put it on top of the stove because the heat coming from the oven while it's preheating and the preheat exactly 405 degrees Fahrenheit. That's very important. 405 degrees it gives you the best uh, cooking range to cook everything on your pizza and to cook your dough through and through and to give it the best rise possible. Um, so yeah, now it's going to go on top of the stove and sit there while it rises and then you'll see the finished product. One thing I've learned over the years is um, doing really good pizza dough it requires a lot of patience and a lot of time. So the next step now is to uh, go to the second rise, but before we do the second rise, Again, another secret to really good pizza dough is working the dough because there's a thing in, in the dough now called gluten. The gluten needs to be activated and the best way to activate the dough is to work it through the dough and I'll work on that and then you'll see the finished product before I put it for the second rise. Next leg of this journey, there's the pizza dough. You see it's almost doubled in size now because that's the second rise. So now I'm going to take it out of this and I'll plop it down here on the counter. Okay doing this one-handed so hopefully you can see this really well then I'm gonna punch it down okay that's gonna knock the gas out of the out of the dough Got a little space on my phone here so all I'm gonna do is show you the punch down this has already been punched out uh, the gas is all out of the dough now now I'm gonna roll it all into two pizza pies and decorate them you'll see the uh, results of that shortly two schools of thought on pizza here this one is actually cheese on the bottom and you're going to see an example of cheese on top afterwards. Exactly 20 minutes at 405 degrees in the middle rack of the oven. Okay, first pizza all finished. Second pizza going in the oven. Now this is a cheese on the top pizza. A little bit different setup. I'm going to put that in. It's going to go in at 405 degrees for about 20 minutes. When then that puppy's done. We'll check it out and see what the difference is between both schools of thought.